Last night we were watching, hi. <laughs> By the way, last night we were watching the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Missy Elliott performed at the very end. A, she looked adorable. She had on like a full gold outfit and Prada, like I think the whole thing was Prada actually, and a bucket hat that had Prada and it was gold glittery. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was such a good performance and so entertaining. I was like, if I ever had an opportunity to see Missy Elliott live, I would be so thrilled because she put on a show. It was so good, but it was like Sheryl Crow, uh, Willie Nelson played, Dave Matthews played. Take your time. And who else? Who else played? Oh my God, everybody's taking this turn. Maybe it's just the turn. So I'm actually at that store where I got my husband's birthday presents. I got a few things. So I also got him these little ceramic espresso mugs. And when we opened it, one's missing. And he loves he loves making espressos with those French pots. I forget what they're called. I'm thinking I got the display one. So I'm just gonna exchange it. Hopefully they'll let me exchange it. And then after that, I have to go get my groceries, which should be ready now. And you know me and my grocery pickups. <laughs> And we actually are going to do a little talk about my food plan, which hopefully is interesting to you guys. But I want to talk also about just like um, my mindset on weight and such and hopefully make you guys feel a little bit better too because uh, I it's something that can really make you feel terrible. I'm not going to go into it now. I'm going to go in and do this so I can go get my groceries and we'll talk more later. But hello and welcome to a new week. We're starting off in the car. I usually start off upstairs in the beauty room. And today I was like, nope, <laughs> we're gonna get out the door and go do this stuff and we'll talk. We'll talk, we got all week. Okay, the next order of business is I'm with the, I'm at the shoe repair place. So these are the Marc Jacobs over the knee boots that I got and the bottoms of them keep falling off. And so this is the thing about ordering things on the real roll is that sometimes they might need a little repair. You're getting a really good deal on them, but they might need a little repair. So I'm gonna see if he can fix that. And then the Louis bag is broken on the strap. Thank goodness this part is still intact, the original. So it's just this little piece here. And I'm wondering too, if he can just clean up the bottom. So I'm gonna take this in and see if he can fix this for me because this is a treasured piece of mine that I really wanna take good care of it and have it last forever. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna see if he can fix this as well. He said he could, so. I am at a place called Proctor Shoe Repair. Okay, I'm back from my errands and I have all of my groceries laid out and hopefully this is interesting to some of you. If you're not here for this kind of stuff, I'm so sorry. If you prefer crafty things and makeup, I promise we will be doing that later. I already put it in the freezer, but I got no sugar added vanilla ice cream and we're gonna try that with the no sugar shortbread cookies. I also got the shortbread ones which are no sugar and then they have this just because it's nice to add a little something to it. This is the zero sugar ready whip so it's just basically ready whip but no sweetener in it and it doesn't sound very exciting but it actually is still really good. If I want to have something sweet and then I'm no longer doing my coffee creamer pre-made mixes which is the pumpkin pie one from Starbucks and the mar macchiato caramel one. I was doing all of those through Christmas but I'm back to doing homemade so that I can uh, decide exactly how much sugar is going to go in it so I'm going to make it here in a second where I'm going to take the half and half put it into a jug with the maple syrup and then season it up to make it taste really good and put some vanilla in it, some extract in it, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, just so that it has a nice flavor to it. But I know exactly what's in it and it's not like really bad for you sweeteners. For lunches, I'm gonna be doing some plant-based ham slices. Um, it's not because I'm a vegetarian, it's just because I prefer it. Um, and then we've been doing the HelloFresh that is the vegetarian and vegan HelloFresh. And they've been putting this 
vegan sauce on these kale bowls and I've been loving it. So I'm like, maybe if I need to just cut back on some of the cholesterol intake that I have. I'll not do mayonnaise and I'll try this. So I'm gonna do this on my sandwiches and see about, you know, maybe replacing mayonnaise. Not completely, because I love myself some mayonnaise, but I can do little small changes, you know? I think that's the main thing, is just moderating. And hopefully I can get back into my sit-up routine. I'm really just like wanting to get back into feeling good and feeling healthy and strong. And a lot of that is gonna have to be nutrition and cutting sugar out again. So it just sucks though, because when you're somebody who quit drinking and you quit smoking and you quit doing all the things and all you've got left is sugar, <laughs> It kind of starts to feel a little bit like, come on, can I have one thing, please? So I'm going to allow myself like once a week because I never, ever, ever wanted to focus on weight here. That is never something I will talk about that you will hear me like shame or say like, God, I'm fat. No, I'm this. No, that will never be it here because... This is a safe space where nobody should ever feel like they have to talk about their weight. This is a safe space from that. We're gonna craft, we're gonna talk about cool recipe ideas. Sometimes we're gonna have sugary things, sometimes we're not. And never are we going to feel bad about it or I'm gonna never make sure that I never make you feel bad about your own, you know, maybe struggle or not even, this is not even a fucking struggle. It's not a struggle. We have so much pressure on us. We have so much pressure on us. You don't know what someone's dealing with. You don't know if they're having a health thing. You don't know if maybe they're trying to have a kid and can't. You don't know. You don't know. So just don't ask. It's best to just not say anything and be a little respectful of what people have going on. So I have so much sympathy and grace for that, that I don't want you guys to ever, ever feel that way. I'm really drilling it home just because I need to make sure you know that I don't think that anybody should ever have to worry about what weight they are. Like, be whatever you are. If you're happy, great. My only thing for me is that I focus on health. So what my doctor is saying when I get my blood work and like my cholesterol levels and my heart rate and all that, like, cause we all wanna be healthy so that we can live long, happy lives. That's all. some work on my computer it's sort of like an office day for me so it's just super boring but I was about to go make one of my healthy lunches and I thought I would share it because we are doing all things um starting off the new year with a bit of a health kick I guess you could say but I don't I just don't want to seem like I'm being perfect about it because I'm not <laughs> I'm not I had the no sugar ice cream with a cookie and some whipped cream on it last night and yeah, I'm gonna go have a chicken cob style salad for lunch. It just sounds so good. And it was from that eatingwell.com uh, gallery, like ideas. It's just ideas. Like I'm not actually taking the recipe. I'm just kind of looking at that top front page for inspiration. And they have this cob salad that looks really, really good. What's this? Creamy rotisserie chicken salad. Oh, see, now that looks good too. Oh, that's more like chicken salad, like shredded. Yeah, I want to go make this for lunch. I thought I would share my lunch today. Just painted my nails as well. I have this, uh, it's kind of like a, it's a very 70s brown nail polish color. I think it's like orangey brown that just to me is so 70s and I have been putting these glitters on my nails because it just makes my 
polish stays so much better if I have that extra coat of glitter. Look at, I got so many of those glitters. Once I got the green one, I put that over top of this, which is a green polish from a brand called Odomi, and that's actually a local boutique that carries that nail polish. But uh, I got the, the LA Colors glitter is so cheap. I think it's like under a few bucks. It's under a few bucks. It's so affordable. And I have it now in orange, green, rose gold, and gold. And then I also have like some of their metallics. This tree is officially gone and the living room is so much cleaner looking without it. I will say it does clutter up the house a little bit, but in the best way. Like I love having it. I love the glow of the twinkling lights. I will miss that tree. But I am still doing the really cozy backgrounds. And so we have this snowy scenery going on right now. So cozy, what I wouldn't do to have a house with a patio like that, golly, look at that. And then here's the rest of the house. Um, I just have my part of my pine in a little jar here because I still have been breaking off pieces of it and using it in a simmer pot. I just need to find somewhere I wanna put it. All right, well, essentially what I'm gonna do first is just season the chicken with salt and pepper and herbs on both sides. And just make sure you get both sides really good. And I just season the crap out of it because I kind of want it to almost crisp up on the sides like with the seasoning. And then I have a little Hamilton Beach griller and you just plug this in and it turns on. It gets really hot. Set our chicken down on it and let that cook. But while that cooks, I'm gonna actually get a hard boiled egg ready. All right, now I'm just taking some lemon, a little bit of avocado oil, and then we'll do olive. So this little vinaigrette is a mix of lemon, olive oil, some uh, herbs, and also I had some leftover uh, cranberry and date reduction that I made for a cocktail I was making. So that actually mixed in with this is giving it a little bit of like a cranberry vinaigrette flavor to it, which I think will go really good with the chicken and the blue cheese. There we go. Healthy lunch. Start of the year, numero uno. <laughs> All right, so for this week's craft, what I would like to do is I'm gonna take felt and I'm gonna try to recreate this collar and then attach it to this dress. So this dress last week I had on and was, I put the collar on with it. It kept moving around so I took it off. And I think this dress needs cut at the bottom and shortened and it needs a collar. So that's the things that I'm going to do to it today. I think I need to just try to recreate a few of these. The mechanics of it is two separate pieces that are attached at the bottom. A bow, which this drives me crazy, so I won't be doing that, but I do like the button. I have some leftover lace. I think this was actually a curtain. And, and then I have a giant spool of fabric felt that I got in the clearance section at the craft store. I think I paid five dollars. No, I paid three dollars and this is almost a yard. I'm gonna get a lot of collars out of this <laughs> if this is how much I'm gonna be using. I just have this light fabric marker. I'm thinking that can do the trick. or do I want it to have more of the florals? I think I just want the lace florals and if I want, I've got a bag of trim. I can go around it with trim, even though that's off white. I would prefer white obviously, so I'll have to take a little bit of a look at some of my trim and see if I've got this in white, because that would be perfect. I 
have decided to go ahead and add this trim because this particular dress I think could handle a little multicolored trim. I'm gonna go with that one. Now, if you like the idea of a detachable collar, you can totally do the whole necklace idea that this one has, but I think I'm going to attach it to the actual dress. All right, I'm actually gonna just stitch a little spot here and a little spot on the corners because I wanna be able to take this off if I change my mind or wanna do a different collar because this is my first one. Okay, we have the collar sewn on. It's time for the true test. I'm gonna try this on and see how it looks. Um, do I look like I just slapped panty liners on my dress? Cause it kinda does look like that. <laughs> but I like it. Uh, this is the collar I had before. This is what I was wearing last week and then I took it off cause I was like, ah, I was just so annoyed. I do like how it's kind of scalloped. I wish that I had that detail a little bit more on this, but I don't hate it and I think when I do the bottom of the dress it's really going to tie it in so that's going to be the next step is cutting the bottom of this dress off and hemming it. So on to that project. Alright here is one last look at the dress because I'm about to give it a cut. I just put it on and kind of put a little nick in the spot that I want to cut it and now I just need to go around and cut the bottom off. Is it cold up here? It's cold? Yeah. No. I should put a shirt on. Yeah. Here is the finished dress. Oh my goodness. And it has pockets. It has pockets. And I don't have to harness it because honestly I like how it's more baby doll style. So I wouldn't, I mean I could harness it, but I don't think it needs it. Overall, love it so much. I think it came out super cute. Now it makes me want to do this dress so bad because this one I do not wear because it is way way too tent like it swallows me and it's just so much fabric but it's a beautiful dress and i love the ruching at the top it's probably my favorite part so that has potential good morning i am just now having my coffee and i'm in a cozy outfit a little matching set and i ordered it on cider that website and i actually loved it so much i ordered it again in like an ivory color and now i'm realizing that i also like to wear sweaters over it and wear them in the winter because they are essentially almost like cable knit pants so i just ordered them in black <laughs> i got a few more things on that website just because cider has really cute stuff right now they have like a whole 70 section and i could swear it's like replica sweaters and cardigans and even pants that look like they're straight out from the 70s and the 60s. So they're really speaking to my heart right now with that website and the, the designs of their clothing. So I just got a few things from them and that should be here next week. So I'll do a little unboxing with you guys and show you what I got. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've kind of unintentionally decided that this week I'm not gonna do any hot tools on my hair. <laughs> very boho, very um, natural girl with my, my hair just living its best life. I cut a little bit off the bottom last night and uh, yeah, it's very Seattle of me. I look very grunge girl with this hair. But I did want to make some deviled eggs and I thought it would be kind of fun to do something for like football, watching football Super Bowl is next month and kind of consider some snacks for those things. But also I just was craving deviled eggs but I wanted to do something unique. I was gonna make these buffalo blue cheese style ones so i'm going to use my little egg cooker but i also want to do a kind of kale salad on the side all right now we're just going to add a little bit of oil and then pepper salt if you just keep massaging the leaves of the kale it instantly kind of tenderizes it so you don't have to steam it every time and that's something i didn't learn until much later in my adulthood <laughs> this was the best way to eat kale in my opinion i mean it's great steamed it's great cooked into kale chips there's so many options for it it's just so good it's such a versatile leaf
buffalo blue cheese style. Mmm, that is so good. Mm. Hello. Welcome to the next day. I am testing out a new light attachment on my camera and it's making me nervous. I don't want it to break the viewfinder. I think I need to look up the instructions, but so far I feel like I've been able to walk through all of the darkest parts of my house with this light on and you're able to see me in every place I go. That's gonna be a game changer. It's just like a little like, uh, you know, clip light. I think it'll be really handy, but I think I prefer to have it like on my phone or something and not my camera. <laughs> it's making me so scared. I could just like hold it. This is it, it's just this little thing, but still working it out. <sighs> Somebody, we're stuck inside this house. <laughs> uh, actually, we're gonna head downstairs. So let's just hold the light. We're just gonna hold the light. That'll work for now. I'm gonna grab my tripod, cause guess what? We're projecting today, people. You can just use the natural light of my house down here with the sunlight. Uh, but hi, hello, and welcome to the next day. I have some projects to do today that have come in the mail. It's something we have been planning on doing for a very long time. I think I bought this paint. It's been a long time. I think I bought that paint a year ago. I can't remember. It was when we bought the paint for the living room and we were like, on, like gung ho on buying paint. So we bought the paint for the bedroom, the living room, and then we got it for the kitchen and the uh, little mud room. But the mud room one, just somehow that project just got completely sidetracked. This is the color that we want to do. We want to do this really nice, it's called mellow mood. It's like a gray green. See, this is where we need the light. See, see that? We need the light. <laughs> It's like a gray green color. And then we got these tiles. We got two packs of it. And they are essentially little black and white peel and stick tiles. All the floors throughout our house are fairly new-ish. Like they were all replaced by the landlord that we used to have before we bought the place from her. And so I feel like she did a pretty good job picking things out, but this in here is just so gross and it gets so dirty. And it's just as, no matter how much I mop it, it just doesn't look clean to me. So I'm hoping that this will make it look so much better in here. I mean, obviously it's still gonna get dirty. It's the mud room. We live in a rainy, rainy climate. I have a lot of dogs here all the time. No matter what, the foot traffic and it being just the utility space for us in and out of the backyard is obviously gonna be dirty, no matter what. But I feel like even just some of the black, I'll just let Marvin enjoy his water here for a moment. <laughs> and then this whole area is gonna get painted that green color. So it's like that green gray color. I mean, look at the like dew condensation from this being steamy from the washer and dryer going. It just steams this whole area gets so hot the windows fog up. So that is the plan. And then I'm gonna actually today, so my husband wants to kind of tackle the flooring cause he's very meticulous and he's good at measuring. So he's gonna do that. I feel like our kitchen, no matter what we do, never looks clean. I think at this point, the walls are just dirty. I can magic erase them all I want and they just look dirty to me. So I'm gonna go around and just kind of give them a little scrub and then I'm gonna paint the walls in here that green color and it's gonna go with this like purple black. This was supposed to just be like a deep black, but it ended up coming out this like deep purple color, which I am actually kind of glad because we ended up painting the whole house black anyway. So I didn't want it to be black in here. And when we remodel the kitchen, we're either gonna go with a really deep blue or a really deep green. Uh, when we remodel, we're gonna actually cut, but all this is gonna get removed and pushed out. So that's today's project. We are gonna be doing the tiles. And I also got some new knives because I keep losing my paring knives. And then I got these little glass jars. I just, I can't get them out of there with one hand anyway. I've got these little glass jars for putting various things in the kitchen and storage and just making it look nice. Oh, and then our moon drops. These are what we, if we really need a good night's sleep, they're homeopathic sleep drops. 
And they're the only ones that I've been able to take that don't um, seem to have any like side effects for me. Uh, <laughs> this is my painting outfit. I look so funny, um, but I've got on my overalls for painting and then some uh, striped socks and such just because, you know, why not have fun with it if you're gonna wear an outfit to paint in. All right, so I'm gonna do a test patch of the paint just right here on the wall. It will be nice to get an idea. Oh, I love it. Instantly in love. But like, see what I mean? That's not dirt, that's just putty fixes that have stained and now are just permanent dark patches on the wall and it just looks so dirty. So this is just, it's gonna make everything look so much cleaner and brighter and yeah, I'm really excited about it. It's about dang time. <laughs> I've had this paint for so long. Well, anyway, I hate to leave you hanging without seeing any results, but I guess that just means you'll have to tune in next week to see what everything ends up looking like in the kitchen and our little makeover. I actually wanna do something about this too, cause it's just, it's so, it's just not, it doesn't go with everything. So maybe I'll paint over it. Can you paint tile? Gotta do some Googling, but uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this week with me. We did a little bit of a discussion about healthy eating coming up in the next couple of months. I know that everybody says like, don't do resolutions and don't start everything over in January. It's a time for rest. Spring is when you wanna start everything fresh and anew. Totally makes sense to me. I will say though, I ate like an absolute Mrs. Claus for the entire month of December. I ate whatever I wanted. I had no restrictions on anything. I had all the sugar. I had all the cakes. I made, you saw, I made all the treats, even though I did try to do healthier treats with the chocolate dates and the chocolate oranges. For the most part, I tried to do healthier options, but still I feel like I indulged. And so this month I'm just trying to clean that, like feel like a little cleansed from it by eating lighter foods and just healthier foods. But that's so I feel better. We are taking it easy. I'm slowing down, relaxing more, and gearing up for hopefully, you know, my mind is kind of daydreaming of spring. I've already started thinking about the bluebells when they come in, which is bittersweet, kind of a nightmare. I'm babbling. I'd like to close this video out. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on next week's video. Bye. Light's nice. I like it. I like to share that.